Hello, I'm Bernie. I'm the man behind the voice of Station Master's Choice. Ooh, that rhymed, didn't it? <laughs> it um, it's been suggested me to me by a man who I very much respect for his professionalism in video, a gentleman called Richard Bobes. And um, do check out his YouTube channel, The Board Explorer. You'll find some very interesting things on there. And he suggested to me that it's a good idea every now and again for people to be able to see who's actually making the videos. It brings a more personal link. And um, my concept has always been the idea that I'm doing a walkumentary, i.e. you are walking alongside me or sitting beside me in the coach looking out the coach window. <clears throat> but I think he's probably right on balance. It is nice to be able to see, <laughs> even if you can't cope with the view, the person behind the video. So here I am. Um, and just a brief introduction to this new video today. Um, we're going up into the Welsh hills and we're, we're going to get as far as Battersea Quid. And this and the following video going up into Snowdon includes quite a few stills photographs and video taken from inside the coach. And yeah, you can't see much out the window because of the rain and what have you. But I felt very much that I wanted to leave them in because what I'm hoping that you'll feel is just the way it was that I felt and saw it. What a horrible, gloomy day. You're seeing what I'm seeing, basically. Good, bad, ugly, call it what you like. Um, this video just takes us as far as Better Sequoid, and uh, we see the Conway Valley on the way up, and you get an idea of how the weather deteriorates. <laughs> That's all I can say, really. If you like the video, please do tick like. It won't earn me any money because I don't do it for money. Um, but I'm beginning to understand the YouTube algorithm. The more likes you get, the more likelihood there is that your video will be presented to a wider audience for them to have a look and see how they feel. And, okay, maybe not many people like what I do. But if somebody does, then what I do has brought pleasure to them and for that I'm grateful. So, without further ado, here we go with the latest video. Not sure what to call it yet as I record this. I've no doubt there'll be a title on the screen by the time I get it all edited. Well, it's Thursday morning as I stand here just after seven o'clock. I'm not gonna go for a walk this morning. It's, I've been around really the only place of interest within a short walk of the hotel. Tomorrow's the free day, so we'll go a bit further up and see what we can find. We're just standing here looking over at the mountains. Now, I don't know what the weather has in store today. It's been pretty good so far. We've missed all the real bad weather. It's rained again overnight. And the cloud seems to be coming more from over the mountains now. I have to say there's plenty of people who use the buses up here, even this early in the morning. But today is the day I've been looking forward to, by having a trip on the Snowdon Mountain Railway. I think it's going to be a question of dodging some very heavy showers. The cloud doesn't appear to be moving too fast, but I think that may change later in the day. So anyway, it's time to get myself up, washed, dressed, down for breakfast. And let's see what the day holds in store for us.
We're continuing further up the Conway Valley <laughs> with the weather getting a downside worse. Uh, we come through probably, well, it is a town actually, but it doesn't seem like it in size, of Clan Roost, which is the largest centre of habitation between Clan Didno and Blanoy Festiniog. It even has two railway stations, believe it or not. <laughs> but anyway, a couple of pictures as we go through, and first we find ourselves in the centre by the clock tower. Unfortunately, there is only one clock face on this tower, and it wasn't facing the coach. So it looks rather bland from this side, but the clock face itself, it's got a nice bronzy coloured thing, and it's on the left hand side as we're looking at it. The building on the right certainly seems to have some age for it. From old photographs, I've gleaned that it was the old um, HSBC Bank, I think it was, yes, HSBC. And, um, but I've not been able to find out what it was before that, sadly. Uh, but as I said, it certainly looked as though it has some age to it. Uh, Glen Roost, the, um, the chapel there has a huge stone coffin. Uh, said to have belonged to Flewellyn the Great. That's in the Gwydir Chapel in the main church in Llanroost. It was famous in its time also uh, as a centre for the woollen industry and also certainly became well known as a place of manufacturers of harps and clocks. And that really is basically a, a, a I suppose, a pricey of Flanroost. Obviously you will maybe want to delve a bit more into it yourself and that's fine. I don't really want to provide every single bit of information but I've got to try and appreciate not everybody has access to the internet so what I'm trying to do is not make long monologues about places but I just want to try and bring you as briefly as I can though sometimes there is a lot to say basic information about where we are, where I have not known it beforehand as we walk round or drive round. So as we leave Van Rust, we see the famous three arch bridge over on the right there. It's a lovely looking bridge. It was built in, according to my information, around about 1636, um, probably designed by the famous architect Inigo Jones. Now I have to get the pronunciation of the house name right and forgive me for reading this. That lovely house over there which I put in a little bit of a close up in a minute covered in, in, in foliage is the Tihunt Erbont. Tihunt Erbont which was built in the 15th century as a courthouse and is now under the care of the National Trust. So if you happen to be in that part of uh, North Wales, or shall we say Gogleth Cymru, as it should be pronounced, which is why the Southern Welsh call the Northerners Gogs, um, just as an aside, that's some place which really looks worthy of a closer visit. No, wait a minute. It's worthy of a closer look. That's better. <laughs> Anyway, let's carry on up the valley and uh, a quick photograph of us crossing the Conwy as we've joined the A5 now and we're heading into Battersea Coid and you see the weather has changed very much for the worst. Well. <laughs> I should say, Cruiso and Betusicoid. Welcome to Betusicoid. And I'm standing underneath the canopy by what was the old railway station. Well, it still is a railway station, but 
this part of it has been done up. Just looking up towards the famous Swallow Falls there. A typical fashion for this part of the country. We just got off the coach in the middle of a sharp shower. Well, it looks as though it's clearing up a bit, so hopefully go for a wander in a moment or two. Want to have a quick look up and see what's what. For now, I don't know what's down here. Let's take a look. Just through there you can see one of the coaches in the Brittle Railway Museum they've got on the other side of the station. Probably there's nothing apart from these little shops it is really open because it's not a very touristy day. Let's go and have a look in the station. Very sadly, no trains at the moment. Although it is very nice on here. The um, very bad rains over the past two or three years, every time it's been raining heavily, it's damaged another section of the track. And so this line is closed until it's all sorted. Now the rain is coming down heavily again. But you'll see some wagons over there. The Conway Valley Shopping Museum. They've got a little seven and a quarter inch passenger railway there and a small tramway. A nice stone building here. It's a, it's a lovely railway station to have to wait for a train on. But very, very nice indeed. And if the sun was shining, well, but here we are. Hmm. Very interesting, waiting for a train that's not going to arrive. Yeah. <laughs> September. It's running on time. <laughs> yeah. Let's turn it off. Strange how that's working and yet the line is closed for repairs. Yeah. Oh. <coughs> now, I've just discovered this stairs going down into the murky depths. I wonder where they went to. And on the platform here, interesting sculptures made with what appear to be bits of rubbish, offcuts, and this lovely building here with, I guess it's probably wisteria, but I don't know. It all makes it very pleasant. Dr. Sen. 
all to do with an awareness of nature. Let's come back. There he is. Now the rain coming down again. I'm not going to get very far here this morning. More pieces of sculpture as we walk by. A definite drop in the temperature today. Look at this clock erected in 2003. Back underneath the shelter. Several different nationalities here this morning by the sound of it. Covid, but you can't use air toilets because <laughs> they're all shut. something I hadn't noticed. Make a wish to help an out. Interesting little corner. Well there's just a few spots of rain, very little at the moment, so I'm going to take a chance. This is a very pretty little place, it's, uh, it's where two tributaries join the River Conway. They say the famous Swallow Falls just up the road on the A5 there, I expect we go along past them on the way out. Might get the chance to take a quick photograph. It's a little bit wet coming under here because we're under the trees all the time. It's quite a busy little place. Nestled quite high up in the mountains. So I won't go too far. We've basically got this one main street. Excuse me. And of course the railway station. And uh, 
different different roads to go off up into the hill side. That's on the main A5 now. And uh, stick with this road and drive for enough hours heading south and you'll get back to London. A nice view over the park there. The toilets are open. And we can park with 30 feet. And here's a lovely, lovely church right in the centre of the village here. Don't know whether you call it a village or a town. No one thing. Look at some of these lovely old trees here. Aren't they just something else? St Mary's Church. Egresa Santa's Fair. Egris, get that right, it's not French, Egris. The two are very similar. I think it's now starting to rain again. And I'm caught away from everywhere. That's my luck. So, I might head, finish filming in a second or two and head back because that's coming to the end of the road now. We'll head back through the park. That's the Royal Oak. If you go up the hill, I'll keep going for a bit another quarter of a mile or so you'll come to the Swallow Falls I don't know if over here what there is I thought I could hear the sound of running water. And here's one of those little tributaries. But uh, this one I think comes down through the Swallow Falls. I'm not sure if this is the Conway or not. But this is the one that comes down through the Swallow Falls and then heads off down into the Conway Valley. See how crystal clear it is, you can see the rocks. In the middle there. Lovely. There's lovely for you. As Jones the Steam might say. Haha! <laughs> Know your river. This actually is the Conway, or Conway, as I've just now discovered. Not a tributary. So that was useful to see that information. And I'm getting very wet standing here, so I think we'll leave the filming for now. But what a lovely view to finish this bit of video with. And I hope you've enjoyed that.
I've just slipped this last picture in because <clears throat> um, in the area of Carpal Kiri, just where we turn off to head over the same various parts, the A5 it narrows a bit, <laughs> goes into deep woodland, and you suddenly come across this very odd looking little cottage and it's known as the ugly house apparently it was built many many years ago as a i think a shepherd's cottage um and then it saw use later on up until about the 1980s i think in various tea rooms that kind of thing uh it has been rescued by the snowdonia society i think it is who now have renovated it and looked after it and i think it's become their offices it's known as the ugly house and um there's actually quite a landmark around these places. I just thought I had to slip it in so you, you, you could see it before we move on. And um, that brings us to the end of this trip to Beto Sikoi. And um, I've now got to close this down and get to work preparing the next video for you. So we're on to Mount Snowden next time. And I hope you've enjoyed this video and uh, look forward to seeing you again soon.